guys, today we're going to be reviewing a product called Uniweld. It's uh, aluminum solder. Uh, what it, this is, the melting point of this solder is 500 Fahrenheit. Uh, it pretty much can do any kind of aluminum job. Uh, it says it's uh, aluminum soft solder, strong low temperatures, good corrosion and uh, resistance. So, I'm going to try this stuff off. I've used the uh, Alpha Fry and it didn't work very well. It said it needed 1,070 degrees to melt it and I ended up melting the aluminum before I even melted the solder. So, this stuff should do it. Uh, you can pick this stuff up on eBay. It's about $17 shipped on eBay. I picked this packet up at a place called Torch Supply. It's like a warehouse. Uh, it was $15. Uh, and change after tax. So um, we're gonna give this stuff a go and see how it works. All right, just so you guys can see what this stuff really is, the part number would be P4KD9, and it's UNI-4300. This is the flux, and this is a solder. So, so you guys can get a good visual of what this is about, and maybe find the product yourself. Okay, so what I have here is a 38 inch copper tube and I'm going to be putting an extension I'm going to be extending it to a three a little bit under a three eighths inch aluminum AC line this is the high side so there's going to be over 300 psi possibly pressures at some point in time uh, basically I take this three eighths inch and I use my flare tool it's just a flare kit and I'll stick the pipe in there, wherever three eighths inch, and then uh, you go ahead and tighten it down, and you put the flare tool on there, and then you turn it, and it'll flare it out. So to give it a nice, just a nice lip, so when I solder, the solder will go right down in there. Okay, so what you're gonna do is first you're gonna clean it either with a steel wire brush only. Do not use anything but steel or stainless. I've, my, my bad. Stainless brush. It has to be a stainless steel brush. If not, you can use some sandpaper, which I use sandpaper. I didn't have one on me. I don't feel like running to the store right now. I've done a lot of AC welding, so. Alright, so I already uh, roughed up the surface of the aluminum 3 8 inch pipe and the 3 8 inch copper. So now we're going to go ahead and take the flux from the kit. Um, you can use a toothbrush, whatever, an old one. And we're just going to paste it on there. I'm going to put it on the toothbrush first. And then I'm going to rub it on there real good. On the copper and the aluminum. First you're going to just pull out. Hold your finger in the middle. Just pull. Get a nice straight line. And now we're going to heat it. I don't joke. Don't go too crazy on the heat. Just get it warmed up. Okay, so we're going to heat the copper and the aluminum. This stuff will start boiling up. Once it starts boiling, you can almost immediately start hitting it. So another trick when you're trying to join uh, two coppers together and just set it on without a flange, I just flared out the tip on this one, and this one's flared. And I'm, if I set it on here and heat it, it's just going to fall over. So you get yourself a long screwdriver that will fit inside with little play. You set it on top there, and then you put the screwdriver down in there, and just like that. So it can't move anywhere while you're heating it, because unless you get someone holding it with a pair of pliers, and that still don't even work very well. Okay, so I already got the uh, flux on there pretty well. We're going to heat it, and as soon as it starts boiling, we're going to add the solder. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, 